Tractor Supply Co. Made a trip down to the one that's nearest me. And <laughs> you guys, I have a large vehicle. But I went to go pick up a cattle panel. I got the eight foot one because I have a small backyard. And this is what the back of my vehicle looks like. If you guys do not have room, do not try and go and buy one of these because you will be stuck trying to find a way to get it home. Because you see how far up it is all the way up. I had to let the front seat down. But I'm happy I was able to get it home. It was not that far from me. So the ride wasn't too bad. This is the trellis that I started out with. I actually bought um, these they're tomato cages. I got these from Home Depot. Um, they opened up in three different parts. They were $6 and some change. And I got those thinking that um, I can use that to try and hoist up my cantaloupe. And it seems to be working because that one has already latched on. Um, but I'm going to get out here and change um, change it out before um, they get too attached to it. But that right there would have worked uh, fine for me right there. But I think the cattle panel is going to be um, a little more sturdier. Just a quick look through my watermelon. I am not knowing what is it that causes this white stuff on the plants. If anybody can tell me um, what causes that, I would appreciate it. Because I saw it on some of my plants in the on my deck as well. I came out uh, yesterday just to have a look around, and to my surprise, I saw. Okay, where is it? My first. watermelon I'm not actually sure um, which plant this is I think if I'm not mistaken I'm thinking it's the black diamond but it is vining out really well and the pumpkin oh my goodness the pumpkin has gotten way over here and you guys have seen where in the last video the last update where it was just barely out right here and it has now gone all the way over there and this side has started to vine out this way i've been coming out trying to see whether or not um i had any uh, watermelon buds and i found that one um, watermelon baby there and I kind of rerouted it back this way and it's starting to attach itself to the ground but I have the one watermelon so far of the season but this is my next um, challenge I'm going to get those cantaloupe to vine up on the cattle panel once I get it up.
So I'll be back to show you what I've done. So this is the finished product. I had put up a tomato cage fencing that was a little flimsier. So once I saw that I had a tractor supply co in my area, I went there and I picked up this eight foot cattle panel and added it to my post. And as you can see, um, it's been a few days um, since the last clip, but um, you can see where the cantaloupe has started to I started training it up and you can see where it's starting to make its way up and down there you can see that one is making its way up I actually put that one on over here and we'll continue to make sure that they go up but this is going to be the spot for my cucumbers in the fall when it's time to restart them. I think my cucumbers will do much better out here where there's lots of um, room. Because I mean, they, they did really good on the deck. And I was also looking through my watermelon and pumpkin vine a few days ago and I had found my first pumpkin which what I thought was a pumpkin but now it looks like that and I'm not sure um, what's, what's going to turn out of that but I also found my first um, watermelon and Actually, there's two of them. There's this one right here, and there's this one right here. This one doesn't look like it's going to take. This one right here doesn't look like it's going to take, but I'm hoping that that one has taken. And this is a jungle. <laughs> the pumpkin is growing really well, but I don't think that... Um, I don't think that, um, I don't know how it's going to perform well in the container. I know now that I will be putting, um, vining things together with other vining things. I will not have them, um, in with things that do not vine because I saw where the cantaloupe started vining out and it got a hold of my broccoli and it strangled it so you can see the leaves on the ground so um, That's that. I don't think that broccoli is going to make it. We had a really bad and hard rain yesterday. And it bent my tomato plants over. So I guess when they, the sun came out, they started to turn towards the sun. So I had to come out and stake them. Um... I mean, it was a really hard rain because I had all of the backflow from up there and it came all the way down in here. So, it looked like everything else kind of did well. 
I still am getting a lot of flowers on the cantaloupe and I'm liking how they are starting to vine up on the cattle panel. All right, you guys, that's a little journey with the cattle panel and my trellising and my little trip to Tractor Supply Co.